What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Dat Boy Nice. Coming to you with another video. Um, <clears throat> this is an update, and um, well, actually, it's two updates. Um, first off, I want to show you the, give you the hint of the of the second update. I'm gonna tell you about. Here's a hint of it. Yep, there's a hint. But the first update I want to talk about is my um, HPI E10. Um, I went and upgraded all the parts and stuff to it. All the aluminum parts I put in the car, and it looks great. They, they looked great and everything. I didn't have any problems with it, but, 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 the issue with upgrading anything, whether it be a stereo system, whether it be your RC cars, or any your regular vehicle, anything. When you upgrade one thing, you have to upgrade another. And I found it out the hard way. As you can see, there's no front wheels. Why? Because my front wheels are in the box. Well, upgrade the drive shaft and everything, all the aluminum parts. And I end up um, breaking one of the internal gears in the front dif differential area. I broke the little, it's a little plastic gear. I should have known it was going to break, but it, and I didn't, but I wasn't thinking. The next thing I know, I was trying to drift and it wouldn't, it was, it would turn, but only two wheels were pulling. So I took it apart, found out that was the gear that was broke. So I'm going to have to get another gear. That's the downside of things. That's the, that's the bad news for the day. But the good news is, I finished my girlfriend's, um, Baja body. Not the best job, but it looks looks damn good. I think um, <clears throat> she picked. Actually, she, she's the one that invested all the money into this car. Just about well, th th as far as upgrades and things. Um, well, the wheelie bar came off of my Rustler, but I'm not gonna be using the wheelie bar anymore because I'm up. I'm doing the hundred mile per hour up um, thing, but um, upgrade. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I paint the body. Like, this ain't the great, this ain't the greatest job. I know the lines are crooked a little bit. I did the, the, the masking came off when I was spraying it and I couldn't fix it. It's too late. The paint had done dried. I just know I had just noticed it. So I just, whatever, I did it. <clears throat> but as you can tell, it turned out pretty well. This color, this color right here is purple. It's purple. It's a frost purple. Let me warn you guys. Um, anybody that, that wants to paint their RC car purple, do not use frost purple. Um, the the why I say that is because with these with that, that color right there, that's blue, but with, with the when you buy the paint. It has the cap on it, and the cap is usually the color that it's gonna spray on the body. Well, when I used I used a whole can of the frost purple. Sure enough, it was clear. It was I mean, well, it wasn't clear, but it was like a transparent color. The frost purple has like a little metallic flake into it, and it goes on really, really lightly. So what I had to do is I'm pretty sure you're guessing what I had to do after I used the whole can. And it was time to unmask this. I just went over the blue and sprayed the rest of the purple, backed it with that blue, and it turned out pretty nicely. I took my iPod stickers and put one on each side for, I don't know if you can tell or not, but <clears throat> I put one on each side. Um, you know, it turned out really nice. And then I heard tires and wheels, you know. She got J Concept tires. I forgot what the rims are, but <clears throat> turned out really nice. I didn't get to clean it. This is her. She <laughs> she took it off road and the things before we ever didn't before we ever um, did the body and everything. But uh, yeah, it, I'm gonna clean it up before we do any more bashing with it. Um, as far as the other body goes, no guys, please don't ask me for the body. I'm not giving it away. Um, I don't have hardly any spare parts I'm not trying to be rude but um, 
the spare parts that I do have, the few, very, very few spare parts I do have, I'm going to be keeping because one, my girlfriend's new to the hobby. Two, we're going to be um, racing these cars in Louisville, Kentucky. And they their classes are four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive short course. And you have to have original things on your car. So I'm going to have to, have to pull this body off. I'm going to have to pull the wheelie bar off and put all the original stuff back on before she can race. So that's, you know, so I can't let go of my parts and things that I, that I have. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much the update. Hope you liked the car. Like I said, I, it is the best job. Oh, and she also had bought these. She wanted me to put these on there for, you know, it's girly. So girls RC, so yeah. So there's one RC. There's another RC, mine. Both of those are mine, of course. Mine. Oh, yeah, that's the controller. Of course, it goes with the HPI, but I'm pretty sure you knew that because I showed it to you before. And that was my cup from earlier. I was thirsty up here doing doing the masking and things, but yeah. That's all I want to show you guys. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.